Let's talk about wireless, wired, and pen thermometers. By the end of this video, you'll have enough information to know which one or two is right for you and your barbecue setup. I'm Johnny, and you're watching A View to a Grill. The first thermometer that we're going to talk about is the wireless thermometer. Wireless thermometers are gaining in popularity and a lot of companies are rushing to get these things out. I have many, but at this time, the one I find myself reaching for the most is the Inkbird INT11PB. All of these thermometers have something in common and that is a multi-function port or base. For instance, the dock of the Inkbird INT11PB stores 30 minutes of offline data. It also functions as a charging dock, a signal repeater, and a storage box. The Inkbird's base also has a magnetic back design. For these wireless thermometer, let me show where all the action is. The pointy end is where you're going to measure the internal temperature of your protein. And then the handle end is where you're going to measure the ambient temperature of your cooker. All of these thermometers have at least a Bluetooth connection, but some have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. They all have apps and the apps generally let you easily set up your cook and monitor the internal temperature and ambient temperature of your cook. You just plug the thermometer into your protein. You'll insert the thermometer all the way to the handle. And then from that point, all you have to do is use the app to monitor your cook. And if you've done everything, at the end, you should have some really good results with whatever it is you're barbecuing. Let's get into some pros and cons of using wireless thermometers. The biggest pro is that it has no wires to get in your way. I mean, wires, well, they get tangled and they're really annoying. Another pro is you can monitor your cook remotely using the app. Another pro is portability. You can take these anywhere. And now some cons. The first is the handle has a maximum temperature. Notice here when I'm grilling, I tried to have the handle avoid the direct flame because if the handle gets hot enough, you can damage the thermometer, which I've actually done in the past. Another con of a wireless thermometer, you can't leave the probe in your pit while you bring it up to temp because the probe part of the thermometer has a maximum temperature and you can damage it if it gets too hot. Another con is that the thermometer is static. Once you plug it in, you're not going to want to move this thermometer to a different area of your protein. And as much as I love the wireless part of this thermometer, a con is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity because at some point during one of your cooks, you will get disconnected. Another con is that you have to remember to recharge them after every cook because the battery life in the dock is not permanent. I've been using this Inkbird thermometer the most and it is reasonably priced for these types of thermometers. Since I have three different styles of thermometers. Let's talk about under what conditions would I choose the wireless thermometer over the other two. The reason is because, for instance, when I'm cooking steaks, having a wireless thermometer is ideal, especially during a reverse sear. Also for hot and fast situations, such as this pork chop, where I'm doing high heat direct grilling, the wireless thermometer for me is the best choice. Let's talk about the wired thermometer. Well, I'll just start off by showing you my favorite wired thermometer, and that is the Thermalworks Signals. Here's the typical setup. I have one thermometer in the brisket monitoring the internal temperature and one thermometer monitoring the ambient temperature of the cooker. These thermometers typically have some type of display that gives you a visual representation of both the internal and ambient temperature. Higher end setups like this also come with an app to where you can monitor your cook remotely. At the end of your cook, you should have some really great results like this. Also, if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see where I use the wired thermometer in this setup where I use it to control the temperature on my cooker. 
Now let's talk about some pros and cons of a wired thermometer. For the wired thermometer, one of the biggest pros is that it has a dedicated ambient temperature probe. I can leave the ambient probe in and bring the temperature up without damaging it. Another pro is that the wire is a reliable connection. Another pro is the fact that some of these higher end thermometers have remote monitoring. Another pro is that I don't have to rely on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to monitor the cook. And for me, the biggest con of the wired thermometer is the fact that you have wires. Now the one I find reaching for the most is this ThermalWorks Signals. If I need to, I can just glance over by the monitor next to the barbecue pit, or if I have to go somewhere, I can also monitor the cook from the ThermalWorks app. Let's talk about why I would choose the wired thermometer over the other two. That would be where I need to bring my ambient temperature up to temp and monitor it throughout the cook. I'll also use the wired thermometer over the other two for long cooks, such as briskets, ribs, and pork butts. Now let's talk about pen thermometers. Pen thermometers, well, is just what they are. They're handheld and you take temperature manually. Now let's go over some pros and cons of the handheld pen thermometer. The biggest pro is that they are easy to use, plug and play literally. Another pro is that these thermometers are dynamic. You can probe multiple spots on your protein or use them to probe more than one cut of protein. Another pro is you can use them to double check the internal temperature of any other thermometer you might be using. And another pro is that you can also use them to check your long cooked meats for tenderness. One con that I find is that you typically don't have any remote monitoring. Another con would be that it is a manually operated thermometer where you actually have to get off your butt to check the temperature. Another con would be that to use it, you might have to get your hand close to the flame. Now the pen thermometer that I find myself using a lot would be the Thermal Pop 2. It's inexpensive, reliable, and has a rotating display. Now let's talk about the situations where I choose the pen thermometer over the wired thermometer and the wireless thermometer. The pen thermometer is the thermometer I use most by itself and also with other thermometers. For instance, here I am double checking the temperature on a rack of ribs, even though I have a wired thermometer plugged in to the ribs. I'll also choose the pen thermometer for small cuts of meat, such as these chicken wings. And sometimes I just like to keep things simple and I'll use the pen thermometer in hot and fast cooks, just like this steak. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and take a second, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching a view to a grill. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.